Take a look at what was captured by the Dallas Zoo. Animals were seen running just minutes before today's solar eclipse. You can see a few giraffe and ostriches running along the grassy landscape. Over at the Fort Worth Zoo, though, they were able to help with eclipse research and learn how animals are impacted. So you can see a few minutes of research can leave a big impact. We are diving into this topic with Dr. John Griffune from the Fort Worth Zoo tonight. And thank you so much, Dr. Dr. Griffin for joining us. Thank you for having me. Well, I want to start by asking you, how did the zoo prepare for this type of research and was the public all involved? Great question. Um, so the research team from North Carolina State University submitted a proposal to conduct some eclipse research here at the zoo um, and that went through our review process and we were happy to partner with them and as a part of that we did invite the public to participate and so they were given a sheet where they could res uh, record their own observations during the eclipse. Awesome, awesome. I'm glad the public was able to make an impact and can you walk us through some of these findings? What did the zoo manage to observe during this total solar eclipse? Yeah, absolutely. We actually observed quite a few behavioral changes during the eclipse, um, especially at totality. And a lot of those behaviors had to do with typical evening or nighttime behaviors. So some of our nocturnal species like owls and our ringtails, which is a small species of mammal, actually woke up. They were, they were pretty quiet or sleeping during the day. And as it got dark, they woke up like they normally would at night. Um, and some of the other species like our flamingos actually started showing group bonding behaviors where they all stood up and started marching together. Um, and then a lot of the animals actually moved towards where they shift in at night, um, where they get their dinner and usually where they spend the evening. So they were kind of anticipating being let in for the evening. That is so fascinating. So no wolves were howling. It wasn't really like something crazy like that. No, they were actually really calm. Um, I think that all of the animals here showed a lot of resilience to it. And although it was a change in routine, everyone adapted really well. So how will this research be used and why is this so important? That's a great question. Um, so the team will all get together and we'll, we'll study the findings and then the goal is to both present it and to publish another paper um, as a follow-up to the one that was done in 2017. And it's important for zoos because it teaches us more about how we can manage um, some of these phenomena as they occur, um, since we know, you know, the location changes all the time. So every, inf every little bit of information we can get is helpful. Well, it was a treat that it just passed over right North Texas, right in Fort Worth, so you could observe all of that. Thank you so much, Dr. Gafune, for joining us. Thank you for having me.